couple quick terms we'd like to discuss. Um, batteries are typically rated with a capacity in milliamp hours. Larger batteries are rated in amp hours. Obviously, the higher the number, the greater the capacity. We want to define something called the C rate. The C rate is a measure of the amount of current going into or out of the battery. Typically, the milliamp hour rating of a battery is at the C divided by 5 rate. So in other words, on a 1,000 milliamp hour battery, you could draw 200 milliamps out of that battery for 5 hours. If you're going to draw a 1,000 milliamp hour battery, thousand milliamps out of a thousand milliamp hour battery you probably could not run for a, for one hour. The reason is there's some inefficiencies while you're discharging the battery. So the C rate as we'll define it is just the one C rate is the milliamps to equal one milliamp hour. So a thousand milliamp hour battery will have a C rate of a thousand milliamps. Depicted here is a typical lithium ion charge cycle. Um, the left axis has the battery or cell voltage, the charge current, and temperature all rising up the left hand axis. The x axis across the bottom is simply time. It's not proportioned or to scale, but to give you an idea, the battery voltage or cell voltage is the top line, the charge current is the middle line, and the cell temperature is the bottom line. The preferred charge algorithm for lithium-ion battery chemistries is a constant current, constant voltage algorithm that can be broken down into three stages. Stage one, the trickle charge. Stage two, the fast or bulk charge. And stage three, the constant voltage charge. Yeah. In stage one, the trickle charge, the trickle charge is employed to restore charge to deeply depleted cells. When the cell voltage is below approximately 2.8 volts, the, the cell is charged with a constant current of 0.1 C maximum. After the cell voltage has reached 2.8 volts, the second stage, the fast charge or the bulk stage is entered. The fast charge current should be less than or equal to 1C. Often in linear chargers, the current is ramped up as the cell voltage rises in order to minimize heat dissipation in the pass element. The drawback to this is an extended charge cycle time. After the cell voltage has reached a predetermined value, typically 4.2 volts, some of the older lithium ions, this was 4.1 volts, it really generally depends on the type of anode material that's used in the cell. So when this voltage is reached, we go into a constant voltage mode, and we hold the voltage that's charging the battery at that voltage of 4.2 volts. And charge is terminated when the charge current has either diminished be below about 0.07% of the fast charge current, or sometimes safety timers are employed and it's just a, an elapsed time to terminate the charge. No, on the other line. Um, here we have depicted a, a schematic of the newly introduced charge controllers from microchip. These are linear, constant current, constant voltage chargers for single or dual series cells. Your fast or bulk charge current is sent, set by changing the value of the R sense resistor. Typically, the voltage drop that you're looking for across this resistor is about 110 millivolts. So 110 millivolt or milliohm sense resistor will give you about a one amp bulk or fast charge current. Uh, C timer in this picture sets up safety timers 
and the ther thermistor reference provides a two and a half volt reference to an NTC or PTC thermistor that's generally located in the, the pack, so you will not charge the battery outside a preset window. This helps to increase the reliability and performance of the battery. There's a status indicator, which is a fixed current sink. So you don't need resistors with an LED that you can attach to this to get some indication of where you are in the charge cycle. Some of the key features that we want to talk about and why they are key to the MCP7384X family is the output voltage accuracy. This is one of the big key features of charging lithium-ion batteries. You want to charge them to no worse than plus or minus 1% of their cell voltage, of the 4.2 volts. This, you'll get the most capacity out of the battery if you charge to a tight voltage regulation. The fast charge current is important to to keep your charge cycle times as low, as low as short as possible and to know what they're going to be and to also control power dissipation and thermal issues in your system. Charge termination current accuracy is another thing that's very important. Again, this has to do with how much capacity you're getting into the battery on every charge cycle. Preconditioning current control is another key feature that keeps minimizes heat and pressure builds up inside the battery. And in this manner you're reduce you're increasing the reliability and performance of the battery. And a wide input voltage range allows the charger to be used with a variety of input sources and lowers your overall system cost. Automatic recharge is a nice to have it's and it'll automatically recharge your battery if your input is still present and the battery has been discharged below approximately four volts. Safety timers are implemented to give yourself a your system safety and reliability. Temperature monitoring again helps with the reliability and overall performance of the battery. And reverse leakage current. When when the battery, the input to the charger is not present, but your charger is still hooked up to the battery, you do not want to be discharging your battery. The reverse leakage current, or the current draw that caused by the charger with the MCP738 4X family is somewhere typically around 200 nanoamps. It's very, very low. 